When we came to America, it was very difficult for my family. My mom was young, she was very close to her mother, uh, and my father had fallen from grace. There was a lot of pride um, associated with working for a king and then having to go work at a gas station. It was a time where I still thought it was temporary. I was learning English, I was going to school, but I thought for sure we were going back to Iran and I was gonna go back and, and see my family. I'm Artemis Patrick, I am Iranian, and I am the EVP Global Chief Merchandising Officer for Sephora. I have been at Sephora for 17 years. Oh my God, it's my favorite part of the day. If you go into a Sephora and you like the brands and you like the products, that's on my team. We oversee which brands and products we launch and bring to life. Growing up in Iran, I had a really happy childhood. We would get dressed up and I'd watch my mom put on makeup. When I was seven years old, the Iranian revolution happened. My father worked for the Shah and so we had to leave very quickly. I distinctly remember looking out and seeing people marching in the streets. I think as a child, uh, it wasn't totally clear that we were leaving forever. And it's not what was communicated to me. Um, we're leaving for a little bit and uh, you'll get to come back and see your grandma. We left, um, I think it was probably one of the last flights out of Iran. My parents had a lot of problems and so actually my mom decided to go back to Iran. Unfortunately, this was also during the Iranian hostage situation, so uh, she got stuck there. When I was 10 years old, I moved in with foster parents. I was like, these people are nice, but my mom's gonna come back and she's gonna come and get me. She quickly realized while she was there that it was no place uh, to raise a little girl. I had felt that she had abandoned me. I did not get to see her until I was 15 years old. It was hard. Um, I didn't fully realize the sacrifice that she had made um, to not bring me to Iran. The amount of courage that it takes to sacrifice being with your own daughter just so that they can have a better life. Now that I have a daughter of my own, I can't even imagine being without her. And so that love, that deep love, it just means that she saw what was happening in Iran and she knew that she could not have me grow up there, knowing that I had tasted freedom in America. And I want to honor her with everything that I do. I think being an immigrant and having the experience I had, which was everything was taken away so suddenly, I don't take any of it for granted. I am just so grateful at Sephora. Our tagline is we belong to something beautiful and a lot of companies can have taglines but I can honestly say after 17 years that it, it really is a mantra that we live by. Everyone has a story.